let's be honest here. A lot of YouTube videos try to predict the next sneaker trend, but nothing has really popped up on my feed that kind of screams to be the next latest and greatest thing to knock a couple of shoes out of these respective categories. So I'll be giving you guys the cold, hard, honest truth about the shoes that the majority of people will still be wearing throughout summer 2023. And that's for good reason. The first shoe category that we have are slides, and it may be surprising, it might be a little controversial, but with the most recent news, my first pick has got to be the Yeezy slides. But before you click off, we all know late last year Adidas and Kanye split up, but with the most recent Adidas announcement, the remaining Yeezy stock that they had will be sold and portions of the proceeds will be going to charity. I have a pair from one of the past drops and I can tell you firsthand, these are the comfiest slides that I have. Whether you're coming back from the gym, quickly going out to get the mail, or just like wearing slides in general, these are probably one of the few slides that are pretty good in my opinion. And if you want an alternative to the Yeezy slides for a more elevated look, look no further than the Birkenstock Bostons, and you guys know I'm a big advocate for these. These are slowly phasing out in hype, but when so many people have it and they deem this a staple in their shoe rotation, this is going to be something that you see a lot out on the streets. I've also made another video that you can check out up here about the Birkenstock Bostons and whether they're still worth it. But in short, I still think they're still worth it. You'll definitely find lots of ways to wear them throughout the summer, and they're still versatile enough to wear it throughout the other seasons as well. And if you want another alternative to these, check out Birkenstock's Kyoto Sandal, which I initially saw Jack Harlow wear in White Men Can't Jump. The next shoe category is your everyday wear, something that kind of goes with everything. And with this trend, it hasn't died down or slowed down in the slightest. And with that said, the Gats or the Adidas Sambas are your definite next purchase if you don't have them already. A minimal design that's sleek and stylish, we've all seen the different collaborations and how these can be styled in multiple ways. It's truly one of those trends where so many people have hopped on it that it'll be hard to die down because of how widely attainable they are. But it also comes down to how many people don't have revolving shoe purchases where they buy shoes every other month and they start to deem these as staples in their wardrobe, and rightfully so. I've got a pair of Margiela Gats as well as these sporty and rich Sambas and they're both equally wearable throughout the summer. Whether that's pairing them with some linen pants, trousers, or some shorts, there's so many ways to style these and they'll transition to fall beautifully. Next up we have a pair of shoes that fits a certain demographic, but if this is not your cup of tea, hold on and give me a second to try and convince you. For dressy occasions, there's only been one shoe that kind of fits that criteria that has been on trend for the past year and those are loafers. Loafers are right in tune with the whole old money aesthetic that's kind of popping off right now and they exude a certain level of class as well as versatility within the whole silhouette. Whether that's dressing them up with some trousers or linen pants, then pairing them up with a button down or a camp collar shirt, or dressing them down with some jeans and a nice blank shirt. You've got the Doc Martin tassel loafers that a lot of people have opted to get which are honestly the baseline for loafers in my opinion but then you can shake it up with other loafer styles like the penny loafers or the horse bit loafers. Regardless of what type of loafer you choose these are definitely on trend with how everything is moving towards minimal branding with clean cut silhouettes and it's a timeless shoe that even after this trend dies you'll still have a classy shoe that you can wear to more formal events. And last but not least we have everybody's comfort shoe the New Balances. I feel like everyone by now knows about New Balance, whether that's for their timeless 990s or their really hyped up 2002 R protection pack, or because you've just been hit by the big wave of the 550s that came by and took the sneaker community by storm. But I guess it's safe to say now that everyone has at least tried a New Balance on. I've had so many pairs of New Balances that I think it's safe to say that they're a lock-in for my summer rotation particularly the 550s, but I think it might be time to start venturing out. If you haven't seen some of the latest drops of the 1906Rs, then you might be living under a rock because they're honestly the essential color palette for the summer season. With red, blue, and green, there's a color for everyone, and then you mix in this Orly collaboration coming this fall, New Balance is definitely diversifying the appeal for some of these silhouettes. And also, the 1906Rs are very reminiscent of the ASIC Gel Keanos, which are a great alternative if you can't get your hands on them. And I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't too aware of the ASICs brand other than the Crazy Jean collaboration and a few that they had with Kith, but overall, ASICs is a great alternative for New Balance in terms of comfortability and looks. And with that being said, this wraps up the four must-have shoes for summer 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to leave a like, comment, as well as subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!